Hello and welcome to Superb Tech. In this video, we will see how to use the NRF24L01 module to communicate wirelessly with two Arduino boards. First, we will have an overview of the features of the NRF24L01. Then we will test the module with an example code. In example 1, we will send a hello world message over one board to another. In the second example, we will control an LED bulb on the UNO using the button on the Nano and simultaneously control a servo motor on the Nano using a joystick on the UNO. So let's get started. The NRF is a RF transceiver module, which means a single module works both as a transmitter and receiver. It operates at a frequency of 2.4 GHz, which is one of the ISM band, meaning it is open to use in most countries. The operating voltage is 1.9 to 3.6 volt, but the logic pins are 5 volt tolerant, so it can work with Arduino. It has a baud rate or transfer rate of 250 kbps to 2 mbps. It has a maximum range of up to 100 meters, but works up to 50 to 60 meters in real conditions. It has 125 channels of communication, meaning it can have a network of 125 transceivers at the same time. The power consumption during transmission is around 13 mA. It uses SPI communication protocol. Now let's see the connection. You have to connect the MOSI MISO SCK bins to the SPI bins of the Arduino, which are 11, 12 and 13 in both the UNO and the NANO. The SCN and CE bins can be connected to any digital bins of the Arduino. We are using this IC socket base for the module, which has a power regulator and a capacitor for safety. You can have any input voltage in this socket base. The last pin is an interrupt pin which is not used. Once we have connected the modules to the Arduino, we can proceed to upload the code. First, we need to download the RF24 library. You can find the download link below. We need to include the SPI NRF24L01 and RF24 libraries. We then define the CE and CSN pins connected to the RF module. And we define a 6 character address to the module, which is the same as of the receiver. With the radio.begin command, we initiate communication between the modules. With the radio.open writing pipe or reading pipe, we enable the module to transmit or receive data. You can find the codes in the description below. Now let's check the serial monitor to see the incoming message. As you can see, we are receiving a hello world message in the serial monitor. In our second example, we control the servo motor on the Nano using a joystick on the UNO. And we control an LED bulb on the UNO with a button on the Nano. You can find the code for it in the description below. I have used my portable power supply to power the circuit as the servo consumes high current. As you can see, I am able to control the servo and LED. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do let me know your views in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.